Hi everyone, it's Anna here from the UPE State Team. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm super excited to show you something really special. In this video, we'll dive into the VIP Residence Studio and I will walk you through the process of creating a spanning footer and header template with VIP Residence and the free version of Elementor. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to install the VIP Residence Elementor Design Studio plugin, which is essential to create custom headers and footers. This plugin is available starting the latest version of the team, VIP Residence V22. And to install it, you'll need to go to Appearance Install Plugins and install this one after you activate the latest team version. With the plugin installed, you'll notice a new menu item called VIP Residence Studio Templates on the left side of your dashboard and a new section, Headers and Footers with Elementor in the Team Options. From this new section, you can create new header and footer templates, you can manage the existing ones, and you can assign them to specific pages or your entire site. To create a new header or footer, simply follow these steps. First of all, give your template a meaningful name. Then you can choose whether you're creating a header or a footer. I will create both. Lastly, you will have to choose where to display the template. Because the header and footer simply replaces the default header and footer from the team, I recommend to manage the display location at the end after we have created the template and we are sure the design matches what, you, what we wish to show. In the next step, we will dive deeper into designing and customizing these templates with Elementor. As mentioned before, the header we design now is meant to replace the team's default header entirely. With the team default header, you have these built-in elements that follow the team styling from team options. But once you design the header with Elementor, you will gain complete control over the look and feel of these elements with the Elementor template you create only. So please note that none of the team options will apply except the possibility to show or not the user menu in the header. The studio system includes also pre-built templates for several sections of the site. We wanted to make it easier for clients who need to design a website to use our existing designs in one place. We also have some templates for header and footer and these templates are meant to integrate seamlessly with the VIP Residence team and will save you time I will show you how I design a header from scratch as I also want to show you some Elementor alignment options that you will need to know about. In Elementor, you use containers to design a section. In this example, I will add a parent container and then I will add two other sections, one for the logo and one for the main. You will use the Elementor justify content options to align the details left, right, center as you wish. The first widget I use from the VIP Residence team is the logo widget. That is a logo you can use with the team default logo set in team options, or you can replace with a custom image from your media library. In style options, you have several design controls to manage the logo appearance. The second widget I used is the phone number. You can add a custom icon to this element and you can change fonts and colors as you wish. Next, I will add a second container which I will use to add a menu for my site, which will be my main menu set in uh, WordPress admin. And then for the second widget, I wish to show the user log login option. Using drag and drop, you can place these widgets in the container as you wish and in the order you want. And then using the justify content option, same as before, we will make these two elements stay in line in one row and then place at an equal position left and right. To change the colors in Elementor, you have the style button that allows you to change a color for a container only or for the entire section. And you also have control to set the width of the container. That is how I managed to make the entire section show full width screen wide. And then if I want to place margins or spaces, I simply use the padding option for each container. I will show you this example just to understand how you work with Elementor in general to place the menu position and spaces. The navigation widget menu will sync the menu you have created in WordPress appearance menus. And from this interface we have created for Elementor, you can design it with your custom colors and with your custom font sizes. From styling option, you can play with the controls available to see how you would like to make the design of the menu, how you would like the footer drop-down menu to show, and how you would like the spaces to be between details. 
The navigation widget has an automatic mobile toggle button that displays the menu for smaller screens in a different view. The entire design for the responsive devices will be managed from Elementor. You will control the spaces of the elements and how they are positioned on the smaller screens. Going back to team options, now we are ready to set the display of the new header and from the display location we will choose where we wish our header to show. In this case, I do not want to show it on the, the website, I simply want to see it on the blog post. As you will notice, all the other pages will have the default header design, but the blog post will show our new custom header template created with Elementor. We can repeat this process also to design a footer template, but I will go uh, and use only the a template already existing in our studio. So you'll simply click on edit with Elementor. You can design a footer of your own or you can use one of the templates we added. We will continue to add more in the next week, so you will have more options here. The third template and header templates are fully managed from Elementor and I will just show you an example how you can edit any part of the templates we have created using the text editor and then simply save the changes using the publish button. When you have your footer done, you simply go to team options and from here you can edit any template you have created and set the display option for the pages or the categories or the posts where you wish the footer to show. In my example, I will save this also for the blog post and the footer I set will appear on the blog post as it is created with Elementor. We wrap our video here. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to use our client support system and our team will be available to assist you on the way.